everybody. This is Sarah Skopik and you're watching Traffic Musings. Just got back from PT. Um, coming home. It's actually a pretty short drive, so this episode will be probably pretty short. But I want to make this episode because something ridiculous happened to me like yesterday and the day before, and it must be talked about. So basically, because I'm on summer break still, even though that won't last for very long, I've been waking up late because that's the privilege of, you know, not having to do school during the summer you get to wake up at 11 a.m. and no one can judge you for it and so I usually put my phone on silent when I go to bed simply because I tend to get a lot of emails throughout the you know morning you know when people are actually awake and I'm not awake enough to deal with that and so I just usually leave my phone on silent well I one time woke up because I sometimes wake up you know in the morning still like around 8 or 9 and I check my phone and I saw I had a message. I was like, that's weird. I didn't recognize the number, so I didn't really think anything of it. I thought, well, I'll take care of it later. It's, it, it, it wasn't any of my medical numbers. It was a random number, so I didn't think anything of it. Go back to sleep. Two hours later, I happened to get up, check my phone, and I had 18, 18 missed calls, three voicemails, and two text messages. And I was like, who's trying to call me? And they're all random numbers. I, I'm telling you, I have no idea who these people are or what they want from me. Sorry, I don't know why this is shaking all of a sudden, but nothing I can do about it. Okay, we're just gonna let it shake, I guess, and hopefully YouTube can fix that. Anyway, the point is, is that I had all these random numbers calling me, and the messages, uh, one was actually voicemail was actually had someone talking the other two it sounded like it was like a like a butt dial or something and the two text messages were like you're looking for health insurance press one for this and I listened to the message and it said hi Robin uh, this is so and so we just wanted if you were interested in health insurance and as I was looking at this trying to figure out what was going on I made a Facebook post about it because I thought it was so funny while I am typing the Facebook post I received three phone calls and all of them start out the same way. Hi, Robin, we're calling you about your application for health insurance. Are you looking for a single or a family? And I had to tell each one, I'm not Robin. I don't know, I, it, that she gave you the wrong number, I'm not Robin. Oh, okay, we're sorry. So, Robin, whoever this lady is, used my cell phone number for whatever reason to apply for health insurance. And I'm guessing what had to have happened was she had written like a one application or something like that and it got sent to a bunch of health insurance agencies for quotes. And so she typed my phone number, she typed her phone number wrong once and so then all of a sudden it was used by all these people I'm getting all these calls. Poor Robin is probably wondering when these people are gonna contact her and I'm still dealing with the phone calls today. It's ridiculous. So that's my story of how I, my, for some reason, my phone number has been used for health insurance calls by Robin. Robin, if you're watching this, know that there are some people that are very interested in selling you health insurance, but you gave them the wrong freaking number, so they keep calling me. Get that straight out, Robin. <laughs> my favorite was the guy who called, you know, the same spiel, like, you know, hello, Robin, we're Bulba from Health Insurance. And I said, I'm sorry, my, this is not Robin, you have the wrong number. And he goes, oh, well, would you like to buy health insurance? No, no, thank you, sir. <laughs> Good goodbye now. So that's, that's that great thing. Uh, you're also probably wondering why I'm wearing gloves all of a sudden in the middle of summer. Well, that's because it's the middle of summer that I'm wearing these. I know, it doesn't seem to make a lot of sense. Let me explain. Uh, when it's during the summer, my car is of course out in the heat and I have a black steering wheel and black seats and everything in this car is just soaking up heat. And so whenever I first get into the car, trying to touch my steering wheel is like a, a no-go. It's, it's way too hot and it hurts. So I started putting, so during the summer I always try to put um, these gloves in. They're just fingerless gloves. They're really not that special. I've had them for like five years, I think. Um, and I put them in here so that I can at least like handle touching the steering wheel when I'm driving wherever I'm going at first. And it works out pretty well. Um, obviously the tips of my fingers aren't protected, but that's not a big deal. So they, they work out. I actually use fingerless gloves a lot for actual conventional reasons, not necessarily for just, you know, 
fashion sense, even though I am one of those weirdos that do think they look cool, because I think everyone thinks they look cool, but it's been so overused that no one wants to admit that they look cool, but that's okay. So I, I use them, but it's so funny, actually, during high school, I had actually another reason for actually going to school with these, and thankfully, I had a group of friends that kind of expected it out of me. They're like, oh, that's Sarah, she, nah, that's just her fashion sense, but I actually had a reason for it. Um, my hands... For whatever reason, the top of my hands are extremely sensitive, and by that I mean they get dried out extremely quickly, and I and they are allergic to like a bunch of different lotions. This has been a problem when we still don't know what's going on. It's literally like just this area around my hand. It's nothing, it's like everywhere in my body I'm fine, and in fact it's just that area that gets naturally dry. Um, it's, you could like put a square, I could draw it. And it's so, putting on lotion is impossible. I actually used to hate it when people would give me lotions for my birthday because I wouldn't be able to use them because when I put them on, it looks like and feels like someone just took a bunch of pins and needles and just stabbed my hand. Like it looks red and blotchy like that and that's what it feels like. Um, my aunt who's a dermatologist said it was because I was maybe allergic to the alcohol in the lotion, but we never went back to look more into it. Um, and I still don't really know what's wrong. I, I just keep having this problem. Luckily, it, it's been actually not so dry the last couple of years, or it's gotten better, so I haven't really had too many issues with it. But it's still, anyway, the point is, is that, why well, does this relate to gloves? Well, basically, whenever I would get my hands would get so dry like that, they would be cracking. And at that point, it's impossible to put lotion on because it's gonna hurt because your skin is cracked. So it's like too late at that point. And so what I would do was um, I, I had to put on Vaseline. And they always tell you, like, don't put on Vaseline for dry hands. I, I keep hearing that, and I guess I get why. I guess it doesn't technically moisturize, but I tell you what. When you have hands that have been as dry as mine have been and have been so or cracked like that, the only thing you can do is put on Vaseline. So what I would do is at night, I would put on Vaseline on my hands and wear these gloves over them, and I would just wear them overnight uh, to keep them protected and such, and then I still could, you know, use my fingers. And actually, sometimes during the school day, I would do this too. Like, if I would wake up and they were super cracked, I'd put on the Vaseline and put these gloves on and then just go to school like this. <laughs> and again, my friends didn't really care, so it wasn't really a huge peer pressure issue. Um, not that if they cared, I guess it would really matter. It's my hands. Honestly, it's better that I cover them up because they would look terrible and look like I... It's not eczema. I, I, it's not that. I can tell you that much. It's just something. I, I don't know what it is. It, I am very sensitive when it's dry. <laughs> That's all I know. Uh, but yeah, so fingerless gloves have, have, multiple, have multiple functions, even if they seem like they're just cut off gloves and not really helping much. They, they have a purpose sometimes. They just look kind of cool, I think. Anyway, that's my short episode. I'm home, so I'm going to go again inside. My mom's waiting for a smoothie. Yeah, I got a smoothie. You jelly, bro? Of this delicious smoothie. Because you should be. Anyway, that's all I'm going to say. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I hope something amazing happens to you. Without further ado, I hope to see you all in the next episode. Bye!